If you've ever played Call of Duty or Battlefield, and I think a few people have, then you're already quite familiar with bullets and more. You know the drill. It's modern multiplayer first person shooter. But there are three things that make this title especially stand out. The first is the weapon handling system. Now I don't know much about guns, but it seems to me that the dev has really done their research because all of the weapons feel authentic. Each gun has a unique way to reload it. It feels authentic and legit. The second thing is the availability of vehicles. Not every map has vehicles, but when you find them, they add an extra layer of fun into the game. It reminds me of the old Battlefield 1942 games. My dad and I were able to create some mayhem sharing a Humvee. I guess I could shoot out the window. I guess so. All right, shall we? Hello. Yeah. All right, let's find some people. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is hilarious. <laughs> this has got to be one of the best things we've ever done. It's up there. And obviously, I need more oh, practice flying helicopters. <laughs> okay, here oh, we go. Oh, you got it to go. Yeah. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Holy cow. Oh crap. It's We're my flying. first It's my first chopper. Oh shit. <laughs> Whoops. I'll see We're if I can turn around. Down. The third thing that makes us great is the optional bots. Multiplayer VR games today face a challenge of a low player base until it becomes mainstream. And whenever a multiplayer game has bots, I always appreciate that because I know I can always play no matter who's online. To sum up, if you've been looking for a VR Call of Duty or Battlefield, then you found it. Well, that's it for now. Thanks so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe. See ya!